So I make a video like this all the time, but I just want to make a valid point. I'll get rid of this. If you're a student, especially at the age of 18, 19, 20, and you just get a simple job on the weekend, let's say six to seven hours, and you are able to save even like a hundred bucks on that weekend, or just let's call it a hundred because it's getting mad at me saying equals a hundred, and you do that every weekend, and let's say you just take two weeks off a year, this is really easy to do. Most people can earn $100 working an eight-hour shift on the weekends. You would save $5,000 a year, $5,000 a year. If you take that $5,000 and you just slam it into an EQ bank account. An EQ bank account is, this, is very safe. It's government insured. You will earn 2.5% on it. And it's compounded every month. So you will earn that much. I might have gotten that wrong. Yeah, I got too many. There we go. You will, earn, you will say, well, that's only $126. But if you do that every year and you make that as your side hustle, as kids like to say, and you add that 5000 next year, you add the next 5000 to what you earn this year, you will see that your investment grows. So if I take a new $5,000 next year and add this to it, I have this. And now it's up to $10,100 and it will grow to this amount. And let's say you do that until you're even, well, let's look at 10 years and you'll see the benefit. Yep, 5,000 plus that. And then this grows. So you can see you, you invested 5,000 over 10 years, which is $50,000. And Oh, so yeah, it, the mistake here was this had to be equal to B2. B1. And then I can pull it down. You will see that you've invested $50,000, but in interest you've made that much. Now. 2.5% is pretty standard, like that's as low as, it's just a savings account at EQ. But let's look and continue, shall we? We just, we'll say you do that for 30 years until you're 50. And we'll look at how much you've made. And we'll go to there. And you've invested this, You've this is the money you put into it. hundred fifty thousand dollars but this is the interest you've earned seventy six thousand so you can see just leaving just constantly plugging in five thousand dollars a year you've made an extra seventy six thousand dollars and then it continues and let's say we, we're gonna do that until you're sixty take that and that and we've discovered in interest you've made hundred and forty seven thousand dollars you might say well that's not a big deal considering I've invested 200000 And you're right, it's not. So if instead you locked it into a government-insured TFSA, which allows you to invest $6,500 tax-free, and right now the rates are 5%, let's say they go down and we'll just say 4.5%, this dramatically changes. This dramatically changes. After 10 years, You've earned $14,000 in interest and only invested $50,000. After 20 years, you've made $68,000, $65,000 in investment. After 40 years, 30 years, I should probably have it. 30's in there somewhere. There we go. You've made $174,000. 150000 invested, you've doubled your money. And after 40 years, oh, and I probably have to pull this down properly, all the way down. Yeah, okay, I did it. That, and that minus that. 174, that minus that. 
370, yeah, more than doubled your money, 372,000. And you'll notice that if we go 50 years, there's something even more interesting happens. That was at age 60. But let's look at age 70. And we can even track every year. At age 70, it's tripled. And that's at 5%. That's super secure. And that's a TFSA, which means it's not taxed. Which means your 250000 earns you a lot more. You might say, well, I don't want to save till I'm 70. Well, fair enough. But let's say you max this out then. Just to the TFSA amount. And it's every year you add that. And really, that's also doable just working one day a year extra. that all the way down and let's see what happens here yeah we can see your money almost doubles after 10 years we can see after 20 years at age 40 your money does double this is the extra money you've earned over here so in just 20 years it doubled at age 40 by age 50 you've got a almost a quarter of a million extra it more than doubled almost tripled and at age 40 you've made half a million that's at age 60 rather and at age 70 you've earned a million dollars and that's GICs are government insured they you they're uh, you can't lose it. The rate is guaranteed. And yeah, the rates are high right now and they could go down, but they'll stay high for a while. And even if you take the average stock market, if you diversify, and that's the secret, people don't understand what diversification is. So you mix your bonds and your stocks and you get a nice mix in there, you should be making about 7%. And the, both the rate and the amount greatly affect everything so we can see after 10 years you've doubled it and after 20 you've almost tripled it you might say no that's double the amount but you gotta remember that's I'm looking at this plus that and here it after 20 years age 40 it had you've earned a, almost a, a fifth of a million dollars here at age 50 you've earned half a million dollars and here's where it really picks up at age 60, you've earned $2 million. And age, uh, sorry, age 60, you've earned $1.2 million. And at age 70, you've earned $2 million. Imagine if you just worked two weekends then, and you doubled it. Now, some of that's going to get taxed. So it's not realistic. but you invest it all in the stock market. By At 10 years, by age 30, you've earned $144 million. By age 40, you've earned half a million. By age 50, you've earned $1.2 million, which is a nice retirement amount. It's pretty close to retirement. Age 60, you've earned $2.7 million. And age 7, you've earned $5 million. You can see these last years are the real benefit years. Now, you still might say, I might, I don't want to earn by age 70 that much. But if you're going to age and work, you might as well take this route because this route is sort of a guaranteed route. Yeah, GICs are the ultimate safe guarantee. And so you should have a mix of GICs in there. But age, time, interest, and amount all work in your favor. And quite honestly, this is not hard to save. This represents... $36 a day. So if you have a normal job and the average salary is around $36, if you just take one hour of your salary a day and save it, this part here is achievable. Or if you work an extra weekend, right? 36 times an extra shift, 288. That's every weekend. So you got to multiply by 50, take two weekends off. You can see that's also achievable. So any job like a technical skill job can earn $36 an hour. So this is very achievable.
and why wouldn't you do it? But at age 18, that's the benefit of this system. If you wait till you're age 40 to invest, you've only got 20 years of investing. So the max you're going to earn is half a million dollars. Still a lot, still worth doing, but that also assumes your stock market, everything goes smoothly. The shorter the window on the stock market, the less the average, there's more fluctuation, there's more variation. So you must learn, as a young person, to ignore the negativity about how to get, there's no such thing as get rich quick. There's get rich steady, slow, and the, the tortoise will win the race every time. 